Hello my lovely Geminis and welcome. Just a quick reminder, my name's Jackie and you're watching Romany Tarot. And I'd like to welcome you for this reading for, this will be your June readings, 2022. So this will be a reading for June. I'm going to do it uh, sort of like a week by week. So we're going to do four columns representing uh, first, second, third and fourth week for you. Okay, so without, um, I say, without further ado, let's get on with the reading, my lovely Geminis, and see what we have for you in the month of June. So I've pre-shuffled the cards. I'm going to pull four oracle cards and then I'm going to pull some tarot. So let's see what we have. Okay, we have a lavender card from this deck. Surround yourself with love. And then from the kipper, we have coffin. Okay, so we've got an ending happening, something that's uh, over with. And then from the psychic tarot, we have the uh, heart chakra. And then from the energy deck, we have rest and rejuvenation. Okay. Okay, so starting with surround yourself with love, exactly what it says on the card. Uh, surround yourself with people who uh, you vibrate on the same energy, you know, you've got things in common, you feel happy around people, so it's all about being around people, you enjoy their company, you know, whether it's friends, family, whatever it is for you. <laughs> so that's really nice that's in the first week of june okay i'm going to pull some tarot first though and see what we have so let's pull a couple of cards remember we've had that uh mercury retrograde uh, retrograde from the uh, 10th of may and that finishes on the 2nd of june so um that's all about, so what it means is um, you'll probably be playing catch up, maybe uh, after June the 2nd. So you'll probably be playing catch up with something you're doing. Uh, retrograde's all about delays, getting something fixed, replacing household gadgets. I've put there double checking appointments or catching up with something uh, you've had to put off. Okay, so keep that in mind, my Geminis. So what do we have? Let's have a look. I'm just going to pull some cards on here, on these ones. bottom of the deck so we've got a happy ending you've been through a very very difficult time i feel gemini emotionally um especially emotionally with your feelings with anxiety with worry i feel um so let's just have a look the first week so we may be looking at the first week of june um we have the nine of swords in reverse I'll just show them to you. We've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. We've got the Ace of Wands in reverse. And we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so the first week is all about, as I say, try not to worry. Try not to be too anxious about something. Um, I feel this is something you're very passionate about. As I said, with that um, Mercury retrograde, things haven't quite, things have been delayed. They haven't quite got off the ground yet when I see that ace of um, wands in reverse so something that you're really looking forward to something you hope you're hoping will grow um, yeah so uh, I feel that you have been worried about it about something that you're doing you know this could be somewhere you're going or someone you're moving towards 
Okay, that's why it says there, surround yourself with love. Okay, with the love of your friends, your family, the support you have in your surroundings. Okay, in the first week, you could be dealing with somebody who is a little bit abrupt. Uh, someone that's a bit insensitive. I say a bit, maybe they're quite insensitive. Um, this could also be someone who's very argumentative, has got to have the last word, and that can be a little bit, I mean, realistically speaking, can be a little bit nasty when the uh, Queen of Swords is in reverse. This could also be, uh, if it's to do with you, if this card is to do with you, this is just about you not being clear, um, not having the full information about something you're moving towards or or clarification to something that you want to get a start on something that you know you want to start making a move on you you want to start making that first move but you're just a bit stuck so there's a little bit of stuck energy here for you gemini just for this first week in june and before i carry on with the readings <laughs> With this reading, I'd just like to say, if you've got a birthday out there, Gemini, I do wish you a really happy birthday, anyone with a birthday, okay? Okay, looking into the second week, we have this uh, coughing card here. So this tells me that something's going to end, like something's coming to an end, something's ending for you. Um, don't be alarmed to see the coughing, it's just like the death card. So uh, the death card is all about change, so there's some sort of change here. Um, some sort of ending uh, I think it's going to come around whether you like it or not because we have the tower card we have the judgment in reverse and we have the seven of cups in reverse okay so the tower card with that change uh, or something something you need to leave behind uh, I think it's going to happen as I said whether you like it or not you know something's got to give that's how I'm feeling with this card. Something's got to give. Um, this is all about uh, probably your uh, living situation. It could be your living situation is he here as well. You know, sort of, um, and the things you do, you sort of build in a little bit on false foundations because this is all about uh, false foundations as well, the tower card. So something you need to sort of uh, be more, you need something more solid so uh, this could be you looking into the future you know with this end so you, you're needing to build something more solid for yourself something more reliable i see some resistance here with the judgment card in reverse so this is making me feel that you're not quite seeing something for what it really is um it's also a card of uh, awakening, a card of awakening, reconciliation, the judgment card. It's also a wake up call. But I feel you're, you're just being, I feel a little bit of stubborn energy here where you're not quite, um, you're not quite surrendering yourself. You know, you're not quite opening yourself up to something, to this change or something that needs to change in your life. Okay, with the seven of uh, cups in reverse, um, I'm sure, you know, you know what you want. It's like you know what you want, but it's it's a case of uh, taking action or changing the way you think or what you're doing to, to get this sort of like, we want, we want to get this ace of... Um, Ace of Wands in reverse, we need to get this upright. So remember what you're doing. So this is in the second week. So the second week of June, just uh, make a choice. Uh, you may have a few choices uh, to choose from. Uh, maybe you're spoilt for choice, but there's something here where you need to make the right choice. So you need to pick something that's going to work for you. Pick something or someone or something to that effect. You know what, what that is. So if we move on to the third week, okay, the second week, what's happening before I carry on? What's happening in the second week? Um, so towards the end, so the message here towards the end of the second week, because we have um, we have the full moon in Gemini on the um, 14th of June. 
So then we're looking at uh, sort of trying to go with the flow and also the answers, because we have this card here, the Gemini full moon in Gemini, we have the answers you need are coming. So something is coming round here for you. But I think, uh, I mean, you have to put in the work as well. There's something that you need to decide as well here, Gemini. I hope I'm making sense. Okay, let's look into the uh, third week. So the third week, this is all. This is the heart chart cross. This is all about the heart space, um, your feelings, your emotions, uh, how you feel about something or someone. What's that? Is that the light? That's the light shining on there. I thought it was a spot on my top. <laughs> yeah, so this is all to do with your heart space and um, feeling, you know, like... Uh, Yeah, sort of feeling your emotions there. Let's have a look and see what this is about anyway. You know, getting in touch with your, um, with love, you know, sort of expressing love. And that could be towards anything, you know, anything you do, do it with, uh, do it with love, as they say. Make it with love, whatever you're doing. Yeah, with this, remember I said about the Tower card in the second week. Well, in the third week, we've got the Four of Wands in reverse. This reminds me of the, the home as well, because I was saying about your living situation. So I feel here something's happening. Um, and quite suddenly with that Tower card in the second week. So in the third week, you could see yourself um, uprooting and having to uh, maybe relocate somewhere. Um, this could be not just your home. It might be a job. It might be your job, you know, your work. But something here is happening. There could also be delays about um, any celebrations that are coming up. So anything that you've booked, that, you, um, that you, you're doing, you're going to see. So something to do with a celebration. This may be delayed or be ca it might even be cancelled. So just keep that in mind. Okay, and it's gonna you're gonna be quite disappointed with that art chakra. So you know you're gonna think, oh no, you know I was really looking forward to that, or something, you know, to that effect. And uh, we see that here in this row. So we also had the Ace of Coins in reverse. Sorry about all these reversals, but that's how they come up. So this is a missed opportunity. It could be to do something to do with that celebration, something that you uh, that you miss. As I say, it might be cancelled or put off or delayed, or it might just mean that you happen to be busy working or doing something where you won't be to be able to attend this, or you might not be able to get there in time or something to that effect, um, which is a shame because it shows up in all this, uh, this third week here. So it's happening the third week of June. And if we see what's happening, so uh, June, uh, Venus enters uh, Gemini, the 23rd of June, we have uh, Venus entering Gemini and Taurus. So for Gemini, let's have a look. I'll just show you this star card in a minute. Let me just read this uh, Gemini Venus card. If your feel, if your feelings are changing towards a connection, whatever that may be, and it's funny with that third row because we've got these reversals here. Uh, chances are you could be getting bored. So the question you need to ask yourself is, am I mentally stimulated enough by this connection? Now that connection could be with a person, you know, it could be anything with your work, anything you're doing. So um, yeah, just keep that in mind because I feel that there is something here that, um, that, you, that maybe you're not feeling it, you know, like you used to towards something that you're, you know, you're passionate about, that you used to be passionate about even, especially with that um, Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, so uh, yeah, missed opportunity there or an opportunity that you don't want, that you don't want to take. Um, this could be to do with a home as well with the Ace of Coins, but it's in reverse. So something that uh, not that you miss something or maybe something's been offered to you and you don't want to take it or it's not for you. You know, it could be anything like that or you missed out on it maybe in some way. 
because we have the star in reverse. OK, so that's lack of direction. Um, so something you wish for hasn't come to fruition, hasn't uh, turned up for you or you feel that way at the moment that something's not turning up. OK, we'll see where that's uh, going in a sec. Let's have a look. OK, so we're moving into the fourth week. We have the um, so definitely uh, rest and rejuvenation here with this card. So number 19. So that's a 10. If we add one and nine together, that's 10. So we have that end in there because we have 19 with the coffee card. And we have, oh, wow, 19. I've just realised you've got three 19s here. And just give me a sec. Let me just have a look. What do we have? Oh, it's not at hand. I was looking for the um, the meanings. Let me just see if I've got it here. Oh, there we go. I've got it. Sorry about that. Oh, terrible one, I eh? <laughs> Consistent consistency is not in my vocabulary. So I want to see what that means because you've got 19, 19, 19. So we're going to have a look at that. So that'll be the last card. So meaning you are on the right path. Okay, so you're on the right path to finding a solution. Okay, you, you will work something out. As I said here, you know, down here, you will uh, work something out here somehow. Um, I just feel that you're not satisfied with something here in your life. You know, you sort of like, I think whatever you want, it doesn't seem to be, um, I don't know, doesn't seem to be materialising or it's just something that, I mean, for it, for you to take something, you've really got to want it or you've really got to like it or something to that effect. OK, so you have uh, found or are about to find a person who is your true match. Wow. OK. Both of you have experienced similar things through life. So you will have to. So sorry. So you will have a better understanding of each other. OK, that's interesting. So somebody here, um, This, as I said, it could, you know, doesn't matter so you're about to find a person who is your true match so this could be a friend you know it doesn't have to be a romantic partner but it can be somebody you met somebody you've got a lot in common with there we go surround yourself with love with the friendship you have a look at the image on that card being around friends the people you connect with people that you've got a lot in common with okay better understand each other because you've been through the same sort of thing sorry i had to get up and get that because i just realized there was three 19s laying at the top that's just from the oracle cards okay i'm going to put them there for a sec okay so there's uh something here that needs sorting out i think with the temperance card uh, we've got this rest and rejuvenation here. So this is making me feel that um, you need to sort of take things, maybe take things easy. Um, as I say, uh, sometimes we just need to uh, do nothing sometimes. You know, it's just like, you know, just take a walk, take a stroll, um, get regular sleep, you know, do something, start looking after yourself because we have the temperance card in reverse. So this is a card uh, when it's upright, it's a healing card. It's about um, fixing, getting yourself uh, sorted out, getting yourself in good health. Also balancing a good, uh, take a good uh, balance of both things, moderation, doing things in moderation. But it's in reverse, which makes me feel that um, you might be neglecting yourself a little bit. You know, you might be... Um, needing to look after your well-being that's what i'm going to say about that card so next we have the four of pentacles in reverse now upright the four of pentacles is all about holding on to what you have um saving something for a rainy day but it sometimes means that we're holding on to something too tightly so when it's in reverse we can look at that as um 
being needing to open up so it's it's needing to release and open up to something um i also feel here you could be being too generous as well gemini with people around you um it's funny because um i'll tell you the signs we've got on the table just in case you you know you're wondering and you're interested but anyway, I feel you've been too generous here for some of you, where you, you're giving too much of whether it's money, time, energy, you're giving too much of yourself, you know, and you sort of might be, um, that might be leaving you short for what you need. Okay, so someone's taking up uh, maybe your time as well. It could have something, something that you're giving. I've just got to have a drop of water. Mm. Yeah, I feel something uh, because of this, because you're because you're giving all the time, it's draining you of energy. Uh, someone's taking um, drawing. It's like they have the energy vamp. Someone's like a, a could be an energy vampire around you as well. They're sort of draining your energy draining your resources and because of this you have you may have missed an opportunity you could have taken in the recent past or in the past okay so the last card we have in that fourth week we have uh, the queen of pentacles in reverse sorry but um i mean if this is someone you're dealing with and it's mirroring the Queen of Swords, someone that can be uh, quite mean, quite abusive, um, rude, you know, like someone hasn't got a lot of feelings, a bit cold, you know, but um, it can be that. On, on the other hand, it just, you know, it could be somebody you're dealing with or it could be you not feeling secure, not feeling stable, Um sort of not knowing where you stand at the moment in a certain situation okay okay so for the fourth week what do we have for the fourth week we have a new moon on the 29th of june we have a new moon in cancer so let's have a look to see what the cancer cards say mm -hmm. oh i just want to read that um oh. I missed it because I read the uh, Venus uh, entering uh, Gemini and then we've got uh, Venus in Taurus as well, which affects everybody in different ways, you know. But the, the main energy of this is um, this energy likes physical contact, but must watch out for how much for how much is demanded from the connection. Remember, we was reading about the, the, the other one about being... Um, you know, you could just lose your interest or get bored with someone, especially if they're doing, you know, if you're feeling like this. I mean, uh, sooner or later, something's got to give, hasn't it? You know, you can't keep going on like that and not, you know, stick up for yourself or say, you know, enough is enough and no for, for a change. OK, so we have to be careful with this uh, Venus when he enters uh, Taurus as well. It can make us feel a little bit possessive. Um it could also uh, make us feel we've got a sort of what can I say we've got to sort of remember that we all have freedom you know freedom yeah they freedom of speech freedom of will you know we're all free spirits so we can't be too possessive or think that something belongs to us every you know it's another with and this could be happening to you where someone's being too possessive over you so um just be careful of that that sort of area there yeah because it says the object person of your affection is a free human being not a, not your own personal possession so maybe somebody is doing this to you this can be vice versa so just you know keep that in mind okay so at the end of the month the end of June, we're looking at the 29th where we have a new moon in Cancer. So this is a time and it's under that re rejuven 
rejuvenation card, rest and rejuvenation. So this is all about relaxing, you know, sort of taking a deep breath and, you know, a sigh of relief, you know, at least, thank God, you know, sort of that month's over, very tense month. Um, I think you really need to uh, put your foot down here somewhere, whether it's with yourself or somebody else. And also uh, with that new moon in Cancer, we have this card here because I pick them out. You know, I'm going to get the moon phases. We just get an idea of what this is about. You and your loved ones are safe. So uh, don't fret over, you know, whoever it is, parents, siblings, nieces, nephews, brothers, you know, siblings, brothers, sisters. So don't worry. Your loved ones are safe. So the thing here. They're safe. You've got to start looking after yourself. You've got to start thinking of yourself, you know, and what you're going to do. OK, because uh, maybe a little bit too much worry about what's going on around you and not enough worrying about yourself. OK, Gemini. So that's what I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. As I say, if you can, it really helps to grow the channel. If you, you know, subscribe just give me a thumbs up. Feel free to lose, uh, leave a comment. Not lose a comment. Leave a comment. <laughs> so I, was, I speak too fast sometimes. Get all my words mixed up and everything. <laughs> you can tell I'm ruled by Mercury. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, that would be really, really helpful. And I'd be really grateful. Okay. So um, that's what I have for you for the month of June. Uh, do take care and look after yourself and I wish you the best of luck Gemini and again happy birthday to any Geminis that have a birthday in June and I'll be back very soon for your June July reading for your July reading okay Gemini take care thank you bye